Lisa Gera and I had a big meeting in which the boundaries were defined that we could build most of the wardrobe for all the main cast. Gera wanted very few costume changes, so each character from Stanton down to our minor characters would have a very specific, iconic look. We wanted to classify and understand the characters very, very fast. Molly was a life, was a red. Uh, we abandoned the color red when we leave the carnival. And it exists only on Molly and the Salvation Army sign. Xena had greens and golds, sort of life, earth, grass. You know, she was earthy. Lewis has done the most incredible job with all of the costumes. This is actually my favorite. This is a particularly kind of tomboyish traveling outfit. And then, yeah, she looks very different in the performance mode, almost priestess-like. The fall was black leather. It was hard and flinty and uncaring, but seductive. Very early, Lewis started experimenting with things and I did quite a few fittings and he's very precise and he also lets you weigh in to make you feel comfortable. You don't fool people, Stan. They fool themselves. Nightmare Alley, only in theaters December 17th. Final trailer starts now. I will ask you simple questions. You will answer in short sentences only what you believe to be absolute truth. Absolute truth. I can do that. Now, brief as you can, what is your name? Stanton Carlisle. Are you a true medium? Yes, I am. Mr. Carlisle? Doctor. That. Please lay down. Can you read minds? Yes, I can. Under the right circumstances. Keep your answers brief. What do I want? To be found out, same as everybody else. Are you in contact with the beyond? Well, we've had our share of snake charmers in the past. We deal with them. You don't fool people, Stan. They fool themselves. I've given you a fortune! It's time that you delivered. When does it end? I want to know. <laughs> if you displease the right people, the world closes in on you very, very fast. <laughs> <laughs>